very wet. After his early morning flight from Switzerland, Leopold III, King of the Belgians, landed at Avair Airport after six years in exile. His return, however, couldn't be described as a royal homecoming. The airfield had been closely guarded and elaborate military and police precautions had been taken for the drive to the palace at Larkin, a few miles outside Brussels. Nevertheless, there was a crowd of royalists near the palace to give their king as warm a welcome as possible. Ex-Premier Paul Spark, on the contrary, together with other socialist ministers, promptly resigned. Monsieur Spark himself led a procession through Brussels to hold a meeting of protest against the king's return. The king, who'd brought with him Crown Prince Baudouin, wearing glasses, and Prince Albert, presently left the palace to walk in the forecourt and acknowledge the cheers of subjects who'd gathered to express their loyalty. The nation, however, was still split in two over the royal question, and in Brussels itself, the scene was very different. As you see, street meetings led to some violence here and there, and even if nothing really serious occurred, the clash of opinion was perfectly evident, and not only opinion, 